Fitch Ratings is threatening to downgrade the United States' AAA credit rating, with political leaders in Washington still unable to break the politically inspired debt deadlock. There's now less than 48 hours before the United States is expected to hit its self-imposed borrowing limit. But even if Congress is able to broker a last-minute deal, experts say the episode could hasten the greenback's demise as the world's reserve currency. Neil Woolridge reports. At Bretton Woods, New Hampshire, delegates from 44 allied and associate countries arrived for the opening of the United Nations Monetary and Financial Conference. The US dollar took over from the British pound as the world's reserve currency after the Bretton Woods Conference in 1944. The meeting redesigned the international monetary system after the ravages of the Great Depression and five years of World War II. Countries in the throes of depression adopted cutthroat measures in order to expand their exports and curtail their imports at the expense of other countries' exports. For the next 26 years, the value of the US dollar was pegged to gold at $35 per ounce until President Nixon abandoned the gold standard in 1971 and with it the Bretton Woods Treaty. In recent weeks, the speculators have been waging an all-out war on the American dollar. Still, the US dollar reigned supreme for four more decades as the preferred unit of exchange. Losing the um, status as an official reserve currency still did not remove the fact that the United States was a large trading nation and other nations wished to hold dollars for trading purposes. But the US dollar's reserve currency status and the privilege that comes with it is under growing threat. Chinese leaders are becoming increasingly frustrated over the Federal Reserve's quantitative easing programs, which have the effect of devaluing China's $1.3 trillion in US government bonds and boosting America's relative export strength. And now the debt ceiling crisis that's been manufactured in Washington is putting the value of China's foreign exchange reserves at further risk and also testing Beijing's patience. There is no question that China is concerned simply because they are holding massive foreign exchange reserves of more than 3.5 trillion, 60 percent of that uh, is in US dollars. Since 2009, Russia and China have been calling for a global currency to become the standard unit of exchange, free from any one nation's political or economic interference. However, some suggest China itself is preparing to take the US dollar's place, importing 2,000 tonnes of gold over the last two years, banning exports of its own gold production, and getting ready to tie the yuan to its gold reserves. It would be a non-coercive, rational self-interest by a major trading partner of the United States, tie its currency to gold, that would force the United States to do the same thing, and it would end this madness of monetary inflation that is now going on all over the world. Patrick Barron and many of his fellow travellers in the Austrian School of Economics believe that monetary collapse is fast approaching and it's highly likely China would move to make the yuan the global reserve currency. He argues the US is in a credit-induced bubble and that a recession is needed to rid the economy of the misinvestment that arose because of the Federal Reserve's money printing. The longer the monetary inflation progresses, then the worst, uh, the worst this recession is going to be. There is no avoiding the recession. That's either a, a, a recession or a complete collapse of the monetary unit, which would be even worse. However, Tokyo-based fund manager John Vale says a serious alternative to the US dollar is a long way off. We are moving to a multipolar world. Uh, there will be probably decreasing use of the dollar in the future. But for the time being, it's really not something that uh, we can even see as perceptible, as far as I can tell. Chinese don't want their own currency to become the reserve currency. For now, it's very much a constrained currency. So the reality is the US dollar is going to remain the reserve currency uh, for quite some time yet. Still, if Washington persists in its games of political and economic brinkmanship in the months and years to come, the push for change may well gather irresistible momentum.